That's 818-353-1276. Okay, we talk about what's trending on this show, what's trending on social media, what's happening on Twitter, what's happening on Facebook. I'll tell you what's trending is spring. Spring is in the summer spring. Today is the first day, although now I get in trouble. I think tomorrow is the first full day of spring. Spring as I understand it, and I'll get people yelling at me, oh, you've got it all wrong. Jennifer leaves for one week and you screw the whole thing up, Brian. Here's the deal. The March equinox starts at 345 Pacific time here in Los Angeles. CRN Digital Talk is live from... Well, we're Hollywood adjacent, as I say. 3.45 today, spring begins. So today wouldn't be the first full day of spring. That would be tomorrow, would be like the first full day of spring, where you'd wake up tomorrow and you say, wow, it's the first full day of spring. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. You know who, you know who's not going to believe she wa- she, she's uh, going to wake up tomorrow? But she will. I know she will. A woman from Texas, Fort Worth, she's celebrating her 104th birthday. Now, wouldn't you like to know the secret to life at 104? At 104 years old, you probably have, for starters, a lot of doctors in your life. At 104, there's a lot of doctors in your life. But the most important doctor to Elizabeth Sullivan at 104 is Dr. Pepper. That's right. She has three Dr. Peppers a day, and she credits Dr. Pepper for keeping her going at 104. That is her secret, three Dr. Peppers a day. She says, and I quote, People try to give me coffee. This is not me doing a voice. That's actually, we have a clip of her from the news. So uh, yeah, that's an actual clip of her from Fort Worth. Yeah, play the tape. People try, <clears throat> excuse me. People try to give me coffee for breakfast. Well, I'd rather have a Dr. Pepper. I started drinking them about 40 years ago, three a day. Every doctor that sees me says they'll kill you, but they die and I don't. (laughs) So there must be a mistake somewhere. All right. Thank you for that live audio. Producer Matt, thank you. I didn't think we'd able be able to get Elizabeth Sullivan live, but that was her. She has three Dr. Peppers every day, whether she wants three or not. That is her secret, she says, for longevity. That's how she stays alive. That's how she stays moving. I want to send this weekend good thoughts on what's trending today to Tim Tebow. You know, he's a football player, technically. Not that he can throw touchdowns anymore or anything like that, but... He's also a very evangelical guy. He prays. He does the Tebow. And there are a lot of people with great respect. I'm a Christian myself. I'm just not nuts about it. That's the difference. There are some people who are sort of nuts about it and think he should get another chance. He took a meeting with the Philadelphia Eagles, Tim Tebow. Uh, No word yet if they're going to give him a job. I'm Brian Whitman. It's What's Trending Today. I am taking phone calls. I'd love to take a couple of phone calls and chat with you this weekend. Here's the number. Write it down. What are you doing? You can call 818 Three five three one two seven six eight one eight three five three twelve seventy six. That's the number for you to call to get in on what's trending today. We'll talk about Starbucks initiating conversations about race relations with their customers on CRN Digital Talk. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a non profit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free 3-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now. 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. It's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brian Whitman. My friend Jennifer Horn is traveling. 
She's got a travel day today, so I'm holding down the fort on what's trending today. And you can tell it's me alone because I have the headphone volume all the way up to the loudest level because in radio all these years, I swear I'm deaf. I mean, I can't hear anything. I'm sorry. Did, what did you say? I can't, I can't hear anything. I can, thank goodness. I do have my hearing, but I, but I got to turn the speakers up nice and loud so I know what's going on so I can hear everybody. Okay. Do you go to Starbucks? I do. I'll admit I sort of like coffee being better than Starbucks. I do. If I go for a mocha, I'd rather get it from coffee bean than from Starbucks. The regular Starbucks coffee for me is way too strong. It's very Colombian. It's like, you know, it's like drinking tar, it feels like. I know a lot of people love it. And uh, believe me, they've made a lot of right decisions. I know I'm the odd guy out to say I don't like Starbucks coffee. But I like the frappuccinos and stuff. I like their their fufu stuff. I like their little girly drinks, you know, and I like the coffee bean stuff. But at Seattle, here's uh, at Seattle, at uh, well, that's where Starbucks started, right, Seattle? They have a new campaign, which has created some backlash. Now, have you been today or this weekend to Starbucks? If you go to Starbucks and say you're me, Brian, you say you get the mocha, uh, you know, the venti mocha, two pump venti mocha, just two pumps, please. And they say, what's your name? And you say, Brian. And they say, inevitably, oh, Ryan. Because everybody thinks you're Ryan Seacrest, you know, Ryan. And I go, no, Brian. So now I lie and give him my Starbucks name. So it goes like this. Hi, what's your name? Bob. Okay, Bob. So when the barista, this is no joke. When the barista gives you your drink, if written on your drink, along with your name is hashtag race together. If that is written on your coffee cup, maybe it's happened to you, someone hearing what's trending today right now. Maybe you know, said, oh, my gosh, what's this race together? What that is, is that is an invitation from the barista to you to initiate, if you would like, a conversation about race relations in America. That's what that's about. Now, I think it's kind of cool. It's a little bit irritating, but if you don't want to have the conversation, well, then don't have it. If the barista hands you the cup, race together. Nah, I can't do it. I don't want to talk to you about race. I I got enough going on in my life. I'm you know I'm I'm 30 minutes late to work. I I can't talk about race relations. But maybe you would just watch you know uh, some tape about something terrible news, something on the news, and you've got some real feelings about racial tensions, and you desperately need to have that very important conversation. And the only human in your life with whom you might have interaction is your Starbucks barista. And they hand you the cup and it says race together and you have a conversation. I don't know how that conversation goes with those baristas. I mean, a lot of them are really pretty sharp. Some of them, uh, yeah, here's your mocha. So yeah, you want to talk about race, dude? Yeah. I mean, you invited me. Uh, yeah. So let's talk about race. Um, so what do you think? Oh, uh, what do I think, bro? I think, um, race relations is like, you know, it's like, so like, you know, it's crazy, man. Right. Uh, what do you think that it's gotten better or worse, say, since President Obama's been elected? Oh, Obama, man. His wife is, like, pretty hot. She's into fitness, man, and she wants to work out a lot. That's cool. My girlfriend works out, but I wish she'd work out more. Yeah, excuse me. I thought we were having a conversation about race relations. That's what you wrote on my cup. Oh, yeah, race relations. So, like, what do you want to talk about, like Rodney King or something, dude? No, maybe something a little more uh, relevant and contemporary like Michael Brown. You want to talk? Oh, I don't know who that is. Bro. Oh, Michael Brown, he works here on the weekend, dude. No, this must be another Michael Brown guy. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know much about him, brah. Brah. Hey, what's up, brah? The world's biggest coffee chain kicked off a national, international almost, discussion of race relations in America. So you can weigh in. You might be invited by your barista to talk about race relations. How lucky would you feel? This off the heels of McDonald's. Remember, they were doing, not race relations, but at McDonald's at the Valentine's Day season, they were doing this thing where they were inviting people to, um, if they, if you called your mom and told your mom you loved her, your McNuggets were free. You know, everybody wants to be picked. I'm going to go to Starbucks this weekend because I want to be picked. Because if they give hand me the cup and it says race together, I'm going all the way to Selma with them. I'm going all the way to 1964. These people are not going to know what hit them. You want to talk about race? All right, let's go. Let's talk about the Bradley effect. You know what that is? Bradley effect? No, do you like Milton Bradley? Nah, see, we'd have a great time. I'd have a great time with those clowns over at uh, Starbucks. These guys want to know what in the world hit them. 
Okay, now you listen to me. You pr- you think, guys, oh, it's, it's, it guy sounds kind of dumb. Some of you listening to me might say, well, that guy sounds kind of bright. That's sort of yeah, everybody's going to have an opinion, right? Turns out, intelligent people all, according to a new report, have one thing in common: smart people stay up later at night. There's an electricity in the moon, a pulse, a magic, and energy, a bewitching entrancement, unlike that of the sun. The moon is for things unseen, things done in the shadows and beneath the fog. According to the report, Psychology Today, intelligent people are more likely to be nocturnal than people with lower IQ scores. I believe this because uh, the smartest people I know are, quite frankly, uh, comics. They're stand-up comics. I uh, live here in Hollywood. I'm, I've done some stand-up comedy. Uh, you know, I'm not a stand-up comic. But the, the smartest people I know, really, the funniest and smartest people I know are stay up late. And they're the smartest people I know, and they stay up all night, and they'll go to bed at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning. And apparently, it's it's official. In a study run on young Americans, the results showed that intelligent individuals, like smart people, went to bed later on weeknights and on the weekends, too, than their less intelligent counterparts. So if you're going to bed at, like, 8 o'clock, you're no Einstein. I guess Einstein, and think of Albert Einstein. You think Albert Einstein went to bed at 9 o'clock? No way. He probably had a few drinks. I don't know what his deal was. Albert Einstein, he had that crazy hair. I don't know. He had the hair dryer going. Probably took a shower at midnight and got uh, blue dry that crazy hair. <laughs> the hair is going wild. He's, you know, pounding vodka. Staying up till 5 in the morning. He's very, he was that Einstein. Whoo, one smart cookie. But apparently, if you stay up late, it's not, this is not like, uh, if you're prepping for the SATs and you want to get smarter, oh yeah, I'll just stay up later. That's not the idea. The idea is that it's not like staying up later will make you smarter. It's the reverse. If you're smart, if you're an intelligent person, you generally go to bed later than the dumbbells in your life. According to his, uh, According to psychologists, the analysis goes back to ancient times, believe it or not, asserting the idea that even in primitive years, people have been known to rise and fall with the sun. And those who play under the moon, like me, I'm up all night if I can be, are indeed more intelligent human beings. I used to have a great job that finished at 11 o'clock at night, so I was up till 6 o'clock in the morning. And I was like winning on Jeopardy every night. I bet that Ken Jennings, that guy on Jeopardy, who was the champion, he must he must be up all night. He's brilliant. He probably sleeps, you know. But I'll tell you something. It's real depressing sleeping during the day. Ooh, man, is that depressing. When, like, the sun's coming up and you're trying to go to bed, that is depressing. Jennifer Horn is not here this weekend. I'm Brian Whitman. It's What's Trending Today. We're talking about what's trending. I will take some of your phone calls, by the way, too. 818 818- 353-1276 if you want to talk about how late you stay up and whether or not you think it makes you smart because you're so smart, right? I'll tell you what's trending. We'll talk about it. In New York City, adults are going to preschool. What? Of course it's New York. Either New York or San Francisco. Adult preschool, like adult people, adults, men and women, not kids, who are going to preschool to sort of play because they get some sort of benefit out of it some sort of relaxation i guess all of that and so much more trending would you like some burger king cologne this is crn digital talk crn travelers relax at the beautiful fountain grove inn and conference center in santa rosa california come to quality and come to luxury experience the newly renovated guest rooms they're generously sized and they're decorated in the tuscan tradition They have great, incredible pillow-top mattresses, luxurious linens, and down-filled comforters. The Fountain Grove Inn also offers complimentary Wi-Fi and Internet access. There's warm cookies and coffee every evening in the hotel lobby, and you can visit the newly remodeled Equus Restaurant and Equus Lounge with its new wine bar. It's the ideal place to relax and enjoy a glass of wine and watch our What's Cooking on Wine show on CRN with host Larry Van Alst on Wednesdays. It's the Fountain Grove Inn Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Sonoma Wine Country. It's easily located in Santa Rosa off the 101 Fountain Grove Parkway exit. Call 707-578-6101. That's 707-578-6101 or visit FountainGroveInn.com.
Have you ever considered adding a home security system but thought it would be too expensive? Here's the good news. There's never been a more affordable time to help protect your home, valuables, and your loved ones. You can now get a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, with the installation of a new ADT-monitored system. Here's even better news. Your new system, worth $850, is free. You pay just a $99 installation charge and purchase monthly monitoring for less than $2 a day. Call Protect Your Home today at one 1- 8 866-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. Get the peace of mind that comes with owning an ADT monitored system plus a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home. Call now. 1-866-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. 36-month monitoring contract required. General terms and conditions apply. Visit protectyourhome.com forward slash terms. Do you have unfiled tax returns or owe the IRS or state more than $10,000? If you don't take action now, your tax problem is going to get worse, much worse. Seizure of property, bank levies, wage garnishments, and potential criminal prosecution. And if you owe the IRS back payroll taxes, chances are you will be visited at your home or business by an IRS agent. Don't become paralyzed by fear. Take action now. Call the experts at U.S. Tax Shield for help. Our team of experienced tax attorneys can get you protected. Stop collections and negotiate a permanent settlement with the IRS and state, potentially saving you thousands of dollars. At U.S. Tax Shield, our tax advisors will review your case for free, inform you of your rights, and give you a guaranteed quote. No games and no tricky upsells. That's why we have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Put an end to your torment. Get protected. Get the shield. Call U.S. Tax Shield now at 800 200 8753 That's 800 8753 800 8753 It's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brian Whitman. Jennifer Horn is out today. So it's just me. We're having fun. I'm taking phone calls, too. Our number is 818-353-1276, 818-353-1276. If you listen to What's Trending Today every week or on the weekend, here's what you need to know. And you probably know if you listen every every weekend anyway. This show is all about what's trending, what's happening on social media, what's happening on Facebook, what's happening on Twitter. Maybe you're not on Twitter, but your kids are, your grandkids, maybe your friends, your husband, your wife. All of the stuff that's being talked about on social media is covered on this here program. So we thought, wow, what should we call the show? And we had 18 meetings about it, trying to come up with a name for the show. We brought in a consultant who made $78,000. I was trying to come up with a name for this program. And uh, the 19th meeting, we were at the 19th meeting trying to come up with a name for the show. And the consultant, uh, he was up now to 107000 he had earned. He had cash checks. And uh, then he finally said, while he was eating lunch that we bought for him, he said, uh, well, what do you talk about on the show? And Jennifer Horn said, we talk about what's trending. And he said, why don't you call the show What's Trending Today? And Jennifer said, that's brilliant. And I said, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do that. And then he packed up the rest of the Chinese food that he hadn't eaten yet, and uh, he had a lot of them. I mean, he had cash checks for $107,000, meeting number 19, and we adjourned, and we, and we haven't seen him since. I think he's, uh, I think he's, uh, he's like that Robert Durst who, who went, to, went to jail. He's like a fugitive. <laughs> None of what I just said is true, by the way. The show is called What's Trending Today, though, uh, because it is all about what's trending. And here's something interesting, and I think rather strange, if I may. I'm born in New York, Staten Island, New York. I am a Staten Island native. Apparently... The Brooklyn-based preschool mastermind, as it's called, is a preschool-type experience. But it's for adults. Like, I'm 42. Maybe you're 33. Maybe you're 54. Maybe you're 68. Imagine going to preschool. Really, truly. According to its founder, there's show and tell. Can you imagine how crazy these people are? Show and tell, arts and crafts, such as finger painting, games like musical chairs... It's for adults. And they have maps in the classroom so you can get to know your geography. Because, you know, you're 78 and you'd like to know where Madrid is. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. The class runs through 
the entire month, and it meets every week. Joni is a student, Michelle Joni. She was getting ready for tonight's class, which that's one difference. If it was preschool for kids, it'd be in the morning because kids go to bed, you know. But since it's for adults, hey, let's have it at night. It's nighttime preschool. This lady's getting ready for class. She facilitates the class. Sounds like that's a PC term for teacher. I'm a facilitator. Uh, well, they used to call us teachers in the 70s, but now we're facilitators. Yes, I facilitate the adult preschool. I'm in charge of the uh, fingerprints. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I make sure no one sniffs the glue. That's what I do as a facilitator. She has two assistants. There are six students in the class, each hoping to get something different out of the experience. Okay. May I? May I? Uh, offer something that you might get from the class, and this is free. You don't have to sign up for the class. Here's what I'll, I don't even know you. If you're going to this class, I don't even know you. I'm going to give you something to help you. You don't even have to pay for the class. But if you went to the class, maybe you'd get this message. Grow up. You're 55 years old playing with finger paints at preschool. You should have done that when you were five. I did at Messiah Lutheran Church on Staten Island. I was, we called it nursery school. We had teachers, not facilitators. Yes, I'm the facilitator here at the, uh, at the school. We had teachers and I was so afraid to leave my mom. I would cry because I was five and it was a baby. I, I don't want to leave you, mama. And my mom said, cause we, we're good church people. All righty. My mom was the church secretary. She said, Brian, mommy's going to be right next door. And I said, no, I won't. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. So after about mm, seven weeks of me screaming like that every day, she finally said, forget it. And for the rest of my life, God love her. She's in heaven now. She called me a nursery school dropout. And I, I, I am a nursery school dropout. I dropped out of nursery school. Here's how much adult preschool costs. It can cost you. We have a sliding scale uh, because as a facilitator, we've determined that not everybody is available uh, to do fingerprinting every day, a finger painting. And some people want to come one day a week and some want to come every day. So we have a sliding scale. Um, uh, I have a skin condition also. You know, these people are all going to be wild. The sliding scale ranges from 333 bucks to $1,000. So you talk about... I'm all for recapturing youth. I'm all, I watch Nick at night. I watch the old black and white TV shows. I'll watch, you know, the Lucy show to recapture my youth. I watch the game show network. I'm all about wanting to feel like a kid again, but not for a thousand dollars. That's unbelievable. And by the way, if I really wanted to feel like a kid again, I'd buy a thousand dollars worth of Tootsie Pops and I'd eat those. And then I'd really feel like a kid again. You know what I'm saying? All right, it's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brian Whitman. So who's winning? Is that guy, Lester Holt, filling in for the suspended Brian Williams, getting any viewers? It's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk. When you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Columbo's. Columbo's Italian Steakhouse in Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. It's that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. If you haven't been to Columbo's, you don't know what you're missing. Delicious food. The steaks on this side are fabulous. The seafood so fresh and flavorful. Columbo's family Italian specialties are Southern California legendary. And the meatballs, the best in the West, North, South, and East. Plus service that's friendly but not fawning. And jazz every night and it's also affordable. That's what makes Colombo special. And they make special easy. Whether for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. That's why when you really want Italian food, you've got to go to Colombo's. Because it really is that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Colombo's. Making special easy every day. Colombo's. Manja. Hi folks. This is Larry Minetti, and many of you out there suffer from skin problems. Well, I've been telling you for months how to solve that problem. It's called Herpanacin. It's the most unique and effective formula on the market. It cleans your skin from the inside out. It gets rid of all kinds of acne on your back, your neck, your face, so you can feel and you could look like a movie star. Herpanacin is a natural supplement. It was created by Dr. Wayne Diamond and his staff, and trust me, this really works. I've been on these supplements for over a year now and never had a problem. There is no reason in the world to wake up and be afraid to look in the mirror. You trust Larry. 
Just try it. Call 888-467-4200. 888-467-4200. Have you ever considered adding a home security system but thought it would be too expensive? Here's the good news. There's never been a more affordable time to help protect your home, valuables, and your loved ones. You can now get a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, with the installation of a new ADT monitored system. Here's even better news. Your new system, worth $850, is free. You pay just a $99 installation charge and purchase monthly monitoring for less than $2 a day. Call Protect Your Home today at 1-866-669-8954. That's one 1- 866-669-8954. Get the peace of mind that comes with owning an ADT monitored system plus a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home. Call now 1-866-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. 36-month monitoring contract required. General terms and conditions apply. Visit protectyourhome.com forward slash terms. I'm a state-of-the-art 60-inch flat-screen TV. And I mean, not to brag or anything, but if a burglar ever breaks into this place, I'm pretty certain I'm the first thing he's going to steal. I mean, it's not like he's going to take that recliner over there. (laughs) Or that coffee table. (laughs) Your stuff can't protect itself. That's why the Geico Insurance Agency helps make it easy to switch and save on renter's insurance. Renter's insurance will cover personal property loss or damage as well as provide liability protection. Visit geico.com today. The Doug Steffen Good Day program, early morning radio, and I guess it is radio, although it's radio on TV because this is CRN Digital Talk. You can find out what's going on in the world. We talk about the issues of the day, the events of the day, the people that people are talking about. We have an interesting way of looking at the news and having a little fun with the issues. So if you want to have some fun, learn a few things, and get up on the right side of the world, Doug Steffen's Good Day program, weekday mornings, 2 to 7 a.m. on CRN Digital Talk. It's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brian Whitman. Jennifer Horn, not here. Not here today. Jennifer will be back next week. On this program, we talk about what's trending on social networking, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. What's Trending Today is right here on CRN Digital Talk. We're going to talk uh, the over-under, and we're not talking sports betting. We're talking about toilet paper rolls, you know, the over or the under. This is not – we're not. Do, I'm not a bookie. I'm not doing illegal gambling. But uh, the great toilet paper debate has been solved. Maybe you've been married for years or in a relationship with somebody for 20 years, 30 years, and he leaves the toilet paper over or you leave it under or she leaves it over and you like the toilet paper and it drives you crazy and the toilet paper is never quite where you think it should be. Should it be on the outside, which is the over position? So you think about the flap. When you grab for the available flap of toilet paper, if it's on the outside, that's the over position. That's where I keep it. Okay, okay, I got thumbs up from producer Matt Passants, so that must be a guy thing. Okay, the eternal debate is over. Thank goodness, really and truly. I don't want to overstate it, but thank God you're listening to this program. The eternal debate over bathroom convention seems to have actually been answered more than a century ago. According to a patent from 1891 by New York businessman Seth Wheeler, The end of a toilet paper roll should be on the outside or in the over position. That's right. According to the guy who got the patent for the toilet paper roll, it should be in the over position. Now, advocates of the under position take note. You better flip that roll over when you get home. You've been, and you better apologize to him. You've been arguing with him for 26 years. You better, you better buy a dozen roses or make a nice dinner and say you're sorry. Writer Owen Williams shared the discovery on Twitter. It was trending this past week on Monday, posting a picture of the actual patent from 1891 by Seth Wheeler for the toilet paper roll. Wheeler, the guy behind the Albany Perforated Wrapping Paper Company, is also the reason we're able to tear off perfect squares in the first place. Who does that? Who uses this? Who, I don't know that. I don't want to, I don't do potty talk radio. That's not me, but who uses one square? Who is that person? And by the way, if you are that person, I don't want to be your friend. 
because I don't like that one square, really? Oh, no, yeah, Brian, I use one square, but I'll use, you know, 15 of them. I mean, I really, you know, take care of it. Yeah. One square is not enough. You got to like roll up and just get like a whole. I mean, you've got to look like a mummy, basically. Your arm has to look like an, a mummy's arm wrapped up in toilet paper and then take care of stuff. Or, oh, how about, I mean, I don't want to be Mr. Hygiene 2015, although it does rhyme. Baby wipes, those are the best. I mean, really clean yourself. I don't want to lecture anybody, but please. Who are you running around filthy, dirty? Come on, people. But over is the – or is it under? I forgot already. See, this is the problem. Over, over. So keep doing it the way I'm doing it. I've, I'm doing it the right way. We have solved if nothing else, if nothing else. I think when you listen, you should always get information. If nothing else, the great debate has been solved Toilet paper, under or over? The answer is over. Okay, let me take a moment here to update you on what's happening with the ratings for network news because about about roughly 30 million Americans still get their news in the evening from network news like ABC or NBC or CBS, the big three networks that have nightly newscasts. And you know who was winning, despite the fact that he was making half the stuff up, was he should keep making it all up. Brian Williams, he was winning. He was the number one news anchor. NBC Nightly News under Brian Williams almost always won. Sometimes that guy, David Muir, who took over for Diane Sawyer on ABC, he would beat Brian Williams sometimes, but very rarely. So now that Brian Williams has been sent to Guantanamo Bay, what? Oh, no. Oh, he's suspended. I'm sorry. I got it wrong. Okay. Brian Williams has been suspended. He's not been sent to Gitmo. They just suspended him. Okay. Uh, NBC News has Lester Holt. He's the fill-in guy. He's great. He's super comfortable as a TV news anchor. Well, guess what? A couple of weeks ago, he was number one in all audience metrics imaginable. Translation, you can't do better. He couldn't do any better. NBC Nightly News topped ABC World News Tonight in total viewers again last week, only by 11,000 viewers, or did it? Technically, it did, according to the Nielsen rules. Uh, But the 6.30 p.m. newscast didn't do it alone. The final numbers enjoyed a boost in certain markets thanks to an early morning re-airing. So when you add that in, so maybe they get a little help. Here's the point. Lester Holt is doing a great job. Brian Williams, I like Brian Williams. It's unfortunate that he makes up the news. You know, it's unfortunate that now I could never trust him again. That actually is sad to me. So Brian Williams will never come back. I hate to be negative Nelly here, but Brian Williams is not coming back. I don't want to be like your therapist and help you deal with issues of people losing people but you've lost brian williams he's out of your life he'll never be on the anchor desk at nbc nightly news ever again brian williams will never come back to nbc nightly news it's over so there's a rumor that katie couric now might want the job and you'll go why she did the cbs nightly news and they got rid of her because nobody watched her she did that daytime show like oprah nobody watched that so they got rid of her everybody loves the idea of katie couric but when it comes time to actually hire katie couric and watch her people i mean they don't watch in numbers as high as you might suspect so my feeling is keep lester holt they now say the beginning of the show nbc nightly news reporting tonight lester holt they're pretty soon just going to say nbc nightly news with lester holt and i'm going to and i am not trying to stir up it's the weekend I am not trying to stir up trouble. But there is no reason to get rid of Lester Holt. His ratings are just as solid as Brian Williams. A couple of weeks ago, they were better than Brian Williams. If they get rid of Lester Holt, there's only, we'll do it together, there's only one reason they'd get rid of Lester Holt. Yeah. Racism. That's right. Racism. If they don't keep Lester Holt, there's no other explanation. The guy's got great ratings, unbelievable skills. He's a tremendous newsreader, a great talent, a wonderful reporter who people are watching. They make him number one in the ratings. Why in the world wouldn't you keep Lester Holt on the NBC Nightly News? I hope they do keep them, and maybe they will. We'll wait and find out together. It's CRN Digital Talk, What's Trending Today, as we continue. Brian Whitman, 
Uh, Jennifer Horn is out today. She'll be back next week. Would you wear a Burger King perfume like Burger King cologne? Do you want to walk around town smelling like a double whopper? (laughs) It's what's trending today on CRN Digital Talk. Private mortgage insurance, or PMI, can cost you thousands. But with the PMI Advantage from Quicken Loans, you may never have to pay those expensive monthly mortgage insurance premiums again. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, president of Quicken Loans, and I'm excited to tell you that the Quicken Loans PMI Advantage is our lender-paid mortgage insurance program. You see, we pay the PMI so you don't have to. Make the smart call and talk to one of our home loan experts today at 800-QUICKEN. You'll learn how the Quicken Loans PMI Advantage can give you more options, more flexibility, and may save you thousands when you refinance. And for five years in a row now, J.D. Power has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction. And this year, for the first time, they've also ranked us highest in mortgage servicing. To learn more, call us at 800-QUICKEN. That's 800-QUICKEN, or visit us at quickenloans.com. Visit jdpower.com for award information. Important terms and conditions apply. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. License law 50 states. And home loss number 3030. Private mortgage insurance, or PMI, can cost you thousands. The Quicken Loans PMI Advantage is our lender-paid mortgage insurance program. You see, we pay the PMI so you don't have to. PMI Advantage can give you more options, more flexibility, and may save you thousands when you refinance. To learn more, call us at 800-QUICKEN. That's 800-QUICKEN, or visit us at quickenloans.com. Important terms and conditions apply. Calls for cost information. Equal housing lender. License law 50 states. And law number 3030. We are perfectionists. We do it right and don't stop until the job is done. We build commercial zero-turn mowers with maneuverability, power, and comfort. Who are we? We are Kubota. Now, during our More Power to You sales event, you can get long-term financing as low as 0% APR on new commercial-grade Z700 series mowers. For more information or to find a participating dealer, go to Kubota.com. It's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brian Whitman. Jennifer Horn, my partner in crime, is on an airplane. She's traveling. I wish she was here to do the show with me today, but darn it, I must persevere. And thank you for joining me. Hope you're having a great day. Hope it's a wonderful weekend for you. Well, I love this from the Daily Mail. They're British, obviously, the Daily Mail. They're Brits, you know, and I think the Brits are, you know, they're half out there. You know, they write kind of fun stuff sometimes. Okay, so they uh, they did, they used a Google program to look at geographical locations and find out, like, what's going on in that community to find out basically what the most searched for goods and services are in that community. For example, for Sacramento, California, the capital of the Golden State of California. The most popular search terms on Google in Sacramento, California. This is trending today. The most popular search terms include breast augmentation, divorce, and liposuction. May I suge- suggest if you get one and three, you won't need the the one the the number two one. You know what I mean? Uh, try two of those, and you might avoid the third. I'm just you know that's just some from the cheap seats. Okay, if you look at oh this is funny Denver, Colorado. What do they want in Denver, Colorado? The most search terms according to Google: gasoline, weed, that'd be marijuana, and electricity are the most popular search suggestions for Denver, Colorado. Californians in general, oh yeah, they're looking for breast augmentation, no doubt. They're looking for the divorce, the liposuction, just like in Sacramento. People in Colorado want the gas and the weed. Oddly enough, mm. in Bismarck, North Dakota, the most popular search was the cost of, quote, a minor. This is odd. Somebody underage getting caught by the police in possession of illegal contraband. So they're Googling, okay, I'm 17, I'm not of legal age, maybe I have some drugs on me, what is the fine going to be? That's like one of the most searched things in Bismarck, North Dakota. According to Google, this study is unbelievable. In California, facelifts are the favorite thing. That's what they're searching for statewide, facelifts. Love this. In North Carolina, 
which is a beautiful state. I've been to Greensboro, North Carolina. I've been to Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. I have been. I've been all over this great land. No, I have actually been all over this great country, my friends. North Carolinians, according to the Daily Mail and Google, their big uh, research report, North Carolinians are really looking for a nose job. Yeah, I got a big, big honker on me. I want to get a nose job. That's right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, North Carolina, when I was there, a number of years, I don't remember seeing a lot of big honkers. You know, I would think, you know, I, I don't want to say out loud what I was going to think. But but I, why North Car- people in the South don't have big noses? It's like nerds in Silicon Valley, these nerdacious guys, these like dweebs with the tiny little heads and the big noses. In New York, in, in, in North Carolina, they're usually big stocky guys with big heads and sort of like fat little noses. Not that you want to get a nose job, but apparently in North Carolina, that's what they want. I tell, well, everybody wants something. You see, that's what, you know, that's the deal. I was talking to some friends this morning doing a radio show. I do one here in Los Angeles, believe it or not. I mean, it's a shocker, right? That's like my regular job. And I said, if you could have a free procedure. They also, well, I would never change anything about me. I don't want to change. Blah, 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 blah. I said, stop your belly aching. What if you got a free procedure if it was totally free? And immediately the woman I work with said, oh, my knees are weird. I want to get my knees fixed. Okay. Whatever that means. I don't, she wants to get her knees done. And the guy I work with who was belly aching saying, oh, no, I would never get anything. He immediately said, oh, I'd want hair restoration because I have a little bald spot in the back. Everybody. And I would want liposuction because I'm a big fatso. So I would want liposuction. Or my eyes. Yeah, my left eye is all screwed up. I can't even see. I, is that the door? Is that how I leave? Is that the way I get? Okay, yeah. All right. Now. See, I can't even see if the red light's on. If We're on, we're not on the air, right? We haven't even started the show yet, right? I'm also colorblind. I don't see any lights or anything. So when do we go on? Because we're off the air. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, so. Oh, boy. Did you see yesterday in Los Angeles... It's one of these only in L.A. things you've seen, no doubt, because they go national. The news media goes national with the police chases where you get some knucklehead who's driving either a motorcycle or a regular car. And they got the police following them. Sometimes the guy's going really fast. Sometimes he's going really slow and he's swerving in and out of traffic. But the police are following him because I think the police know it makes great television. I think that's the idea. The chief of police knows, look, the people of Los Angeles want to be entertained, and gosh darn it, this makes for great television. The rider appeared on television this week, and he was all over Twitter and Facebook trending. He appeared to turn around. He gave the officers who were pursuing him, he um, gave them a salute, but but not the salute that police officers are expecting or or have earned or are worthy of. Uh, is involves one finger alone uh, before standing. Imagine this. He gets on top of his seat, arms stretched to the side, and he's on like a, he's on a bicycle. Nowhere near the handlebars. And he does like a trick that stunt riders have called they, the stunt riders call it the Christ. I'm not making that up as in Jesus Christ, because they say that if you're standing on either tank or the seat while assuming the pose of, of Jesus himself. The guy did that trick like two times. Authorities in San Bernardino County, where it all happened, tried to stop the rider for reckless driving, but the suspect took off and led cops on an hour-long chase that went into L.A. County. Inevitably, what happens is these guys stop because they run out of gas or they put down a speed strip. And the guy stops, and they get out, and then they try to run, and then the cops run after them. And then here's how it always ends. It always ends with a taxpayer-funded, the good people of Los Angeles fund, a police officer's knee right in the back of your head. When they get you on the ground, they put that knee right in the back of your neck. And that's courtesy of the taxpayers of Los Angeles for being such a dummy and riding like crazy all over the place. All right, it's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brian Whitman. Jennifer Horn will be back next week. How about this Burger King perfume? Is it real or just a joke? We'll find out. Located in the heart of Maui's premier resort, Kanapali Beach Hotel is officially recognized as Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel and the number one best value in Hawaii. With a range of accommodations and affordable dining options, this is the ideal setting to turn Hawaiian dreams into lifelong memories. Live Hawaiian entertainment every evening, free year-round children's programs, 
Weekly arts and crafts fairs, welcome breakfast, and departure Kakui Lay ceremonies add to the value. Swim in the whale-shaped pool. Indulge in the fabulous spa and hotel salon. Enjoy Hawaiian hospitality at its best at the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel. Call 800-262-8450 or go to kbhmaui.com. That's kbhmaui.com. Aloha. Beach Hotel. Maui's Hawaiian Hotel. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a non organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. Did you know that with a bachelor's degree, on average, you can make almost twice as much over a lifetime than a person with just a high school diploma? Yes! According to the U.S. Census Bureau, you can make almost twice as much. Going back to college is now easier than ever. There are select online colleges that provide laptops to their students. In fact, there are thousands of college programs on your laptop. You can go to college anywhere and everywhere right from a laptop. Call My College Laptop and you can find hundreds of programs from accredited colleges and universities nationwide. Start a new career in law enforcement, business, information technology, healthcare, and hundreds of others. Call My College Laptop to find an online college that will provide you with a laptop. In no time at all, you can double your earning potential. Double your earning potential. Call now. 1-800-582-7531. That's 800-582-7531. 800-582-7531. It's What's Trending Today on CRN Digital Talk. Jennifer Horn is out this weekend. I'm Brian Whitman, holding down the fort solo. Just me. I love Burger King. In fact, here on CRN, oftentimes I provide uh, either to the PM show or what's cooking. I'll do the fast food report because I love fast food. My gosh, do I love fast food. In fact, my favorite is Burger King. I love McDonald's, but ultimately, if I had to choose, Burger King is my favorite. CNN has a story. They say it might be an April Fool's joke. Or Flame Grilled Brilliance. We have to wait until April 1st to find out. Burger King is running advertisements in Japan promising a limited edition perfume for April Fool's Day to make you smell like a couple of all beef patties. Now, that can't be true. And I'm looking at a picture of the ad. They can't really be marketing a Burger King cologne. There can't be a need, desire, or want for that in the marketplace. Is there? Uh, by the way, if you want to smell like Burger King, just eat at Burger King. Trust me, you'll walk out of there smelling like satisfies. fries. I mean, who is that person? Who's the person sitting around going, you know, going out hot date tonight, right? Oh, it's the weekend. I'm going to take her to see Cinderella, that Disney classic. Um, but you know, I like my new jacket. I think I feel pretty good. I think I, these pants fit me well. This, I, uh, something's missing. I know. I need to smell like a Whopper Jr. Where's that cologne? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You spray some of it on you. And you go out. You're sitting there. You're on a date with a woman. She's sitting next to you at the movie, you know, right next to her. No seat in between because she didn't know you used the Burger King perfume or the Burger King cologne. She thinks you probably smell like a normal guy. So she's sitting next to you halfway through the Cinderella movie. She's probably thinking to herself, that's a nice enough guy. Took me to a movie. I guess we're going to dinner after this. But um, I swear to God, I think he smells like chicken selects. Odd. <laughs> She's sitting there. Going, Dude smells like onion rings. I mean, nice enough and everything. You think it's? Oh gosh, is that his breath? 
Mm, that's weird. So that might happen. I, I I hope it's an April Fool's joke. I can't imagine that they'll really be, you know, people really be selling and then buying and then wearing Burger King fragrance cologne. I mean, please. Speaking of food, in Orange County, California, a gourmet donut shop, two thumbs up to them. If I had three thumbs, like from, you know, Chernobyl or something, I'd give them all three. An Orange County, <laughs> sorry, this be my last program, I'm sure. An Orange County gourmet donut shop has customers lining up to try its latest creation. They call it the Big Papa Tart Donut. It stands two inches high and it weighs one pound. It's a full pound of donut. It involves stuffing a childhood favorite, the strawberry Pop-Tart, into a cinnamon sugar donut. How about if you're the guy who thought of that? You love food. By the way, ooh, gosh, do I love food. You love food that much that, you know, a friend of mine always says, don't gild the lily. It's beautiful on its own. You have a cinnamon sugar donut, which is beautiful on its own, but that doesn't do it for you. Oh, no, that doesn't stimulate you enough. You have to take a strawberry Pop-Tart and cram it in to a cinnamon sugar donut and then eat that all, you know, at one pound, two inches of it, two inches high. Bakers then fill it with strawberry jam and cake batter glaze and top it off with more crumbled Pop-Tarts, strawberry jam, and sprinkles. Oh, and the defibrillator, if you're wondering, is right behind the counter at the donut shop. So they can, you know, paddle you, bring you right back. Uh, I love food, but these people embarrass me. You know what I'm saying? It's called the Big Papa Tart Donut. And when does it come around? I guess it's already in uh, in San Diego, California, Fountain Valley, California. I guess it's already available. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, you can watch and you can listen to all of the wonderful programming here on CRN. What's trending today? My friend Jennifer Horn traveling today, not taking the day off. Oh, no, not relaxing. Traveling for business. Don't think for a moment that she's relaxing. I'm Brian Whitman. My pleasure to be here with you today. Make it a great weekend. It's what's trending today on CRN Digital Talk.